Did you know you can edit photos in Lightroom using a piano? Let me say that again. You can edit photos in Lightroom using a piano. Now I'm not talking about a piano like this. I'm talking about more like a digital keyboard kind of piano like this. And this is all done using the computerized language named MIDI. Now MIDI is a language that lets two devices communicate, usually used in the music industry, whether that's for playing music, converting your musical notes from your keyboard to your computer's uh, editing, audio editing software, or for playing live instruments and using light shows and all that stuff. Now while using MIDI with a piano on Lightroom may not be the most practical, there are many other devices that use MIDI that are actually quite beneficial to a Lightroom workflow. Right here, I have a MIDI device. It has a bunch of little sliders and buttons. All these buttons are attached to one MIDI channel and these sliders are on their own MIDI slider channel. And with this, I can control settings and sliders with Lightroom. So there's a free project on GitHub called MIDI to Lightroom and that's basically what it does. It converts these channels to Lightroom settings. Now, because these MIDI devices can come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, and functionalities, there's not one plug and play version that you can just use with Lightroom. Uh, you're gonna have to do a little bit of setting up inside of the plugin settings uh, to get started. So to start off, you're gonna wanna go to the GitHub. I'm gonna link it down below. Uh, you're gonna navigate to the download window and there's gonna be a Windows and a Mac download buttons right there. Now you can see here that I tried downloading the newest software, but it gave me an error because I'm not running the most recent Mac OS on my work computer. So I had to go back to the GitHub and go to the second newest version and that let me get it and it works well. Once I get it, I just run the installation and then it goes and installs. After installing the plugin, there's going to be a little readme window that pops up. You're going to want to keep this handy because it gives you the directory of the file that you're going to need for the plugin to open up in Lightroom. So keep that on the side of your monitor while you're going through the next steps. We're going to open up Lightroom, go to File, Plugin Manager, and then click on the plus sign to add a new plugin. And then we're going to go to that directory that's saved in the readme file where the plugin was saved. And then once you're there, you just click on the plugin and then you basically are all set up. So now that it's added to Lightroom, you're gonna see the plugin manager pop up a new window, which is the MIDI to Lightroom plugin. Uh, it should have a big empty screen because that's where you're gonna start adding your channels. So here I have my MIDI device. Uh, it's connected with the USB. I have all my keys and my sliders down here. Then I have the MIDI to Lightroom plugin window right here. All I have to do is find whatever button that I want to start off with. So let's say I'm going to start with this top button here. It's going to pop up the first line, which is the note 82, which is the MIDI note that it's outputting. And then a drop down window of the Lightroom command that I'm going to be tying to this button. So let's just say this will be toggling lens profile corrections on and off. Then down, if we go to lens corrections here, we can see that it's turning on and off Obviously there's not much difference going on between the before and after, but it is working with the buttons that I'm using. Now let's go and try and find something else. So I'm gonna start with this first slider right here. I'm gonna move it all the way up and down. You can see down, right down here on the bottom of this window, it's showing all the notes that it's outputting. So we have zero to 127, and it's nice and fine control between all of them. I accidentally just moved the two beside it, so that's 54 and 55, but here we have 56. And let's assign that temperature. So right now it's being a little bit laggy, but you can see that right now I'm moving around the tint up and down and we can reset that back down. And then on this one here, we can see that I'm moving the temperature up and down. It works really well if you're moving it in slow increments. If you're moving it pretty fast, it takes a while to catch up. 
So then over on the left side here, I have an up and down button. So I'm gonna use my up button as the next photo. I'm gonna use my down button as the previous photo. And then my left and right button are going to be rotate left and rotate right. So now I can go between the different photos that I have in my library with these two buttons here. And then I can also rotate it left and right using these buttons. Now, obviously there are tons of options here that we can add to each individual button and the sliders and your knobs that you have on your MIDI device. But clearly there's a lot to get your head around. So thankfully on the MIDI to Lightroom website, there is a wiki that has all of the different commands that you can use. There's even a Google group with uh, a big forum that you can join and add, ask questions and see what other people are asking if you have any questions on your own. And you might even be lucky and find a profile that someone has already built for your MIDI device that you might be able to download. So now inside of this wiki, if you click on commands, we can now go and see all of these different commands that you can set your buttons and your sliders to. And it gives you a description on each individual setting and function. So really helpful. I'll also link this wiki with all the commands underneath this video if you wanna go and check it out for yourself. Now clearly I have a whole lot more buttons to assign on this controller. I can just add so many more of these buttons and it just keeps going and going and going. So I clearly have a lot of work cut out for me to finish setting up the profile on my MIDI device. I don't actually know how many people out there have MIDI devices, let alone have MIDI devices and use Lightroom and want to use them together. But for those of you who do and enjoy this video, I hope you learned something and I hope you end up increasing your workflow and making it so much better. I'm gonna go back and continue getting mine all set up. I hope you enjoyed this video or at least learned something from it. If you liked it, drop a like, and if you loved it, drop a subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.